Hi, welcome back to educator.com. Today's lesson will be dealing with major, minor, perfect, and numbered intervals. <clears throat> Our lesson objectives are numbering the notes in a major scale, introduction of numbering intervals, definition of a major interval, minor interval, and perfect interval. Let's begin with numbering the notes of the C major scale on the keyboard. We just learned about the C major scale. Let's first fill in the notes of the keys. The first note is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, we call the first note one. So from the first note, it goes on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so the C major scale has the first scale degree, we call it the C, the first scale degree, second scale degree, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. We'll be using numbers a lot in this lesson, and in theory in general. They refer to a lot of different things. A second can be the second degree of the scale, or it can refer to an interval between C and D. That is called a second. A third is also an interval of a third, one, two, three, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, and eighth, and they're also the fifth scale degree, the sixth scale degree. I'll try to be as clear as I can, but just to give you um, a little warning ahead of time, there's, we use a lot of numbers to talk about similar things. Okay, so there we have, we've numbered the notes of the C major scale. Let's talk about getting, exploring the C major scale a little more fully. The major and minor intervals of the C major scale are, first we'll start with labeling our notes. Okay, from C to D, this is a second. As we, It's a whole step, but we also call it a second because when you play from C to D, it's a whole step, but it's also one, two. It's just called an interval of a second. So we are going to go back and write from C to D is a major second. And this is how we'll write it, major second. From C to E, this is a major third. Major third. Okay, let's illustrate it on the staff. It's a little simpler. Okay, from C, below the treble clef staff to D. This is a major, we use a capital M as an abbreviation for major, major second. We were also just recently exploring whole steps and half steps. From C to D is a whole step and a major second. From D to E is also a whole step, but right now we're going to explore the intervals from C to every other note in the, in the scale. So from C to E, this is a major third. It's called a third because it is one, two, E is three away from C. We always count C as one. From C to F, so from C to E, this is a third, a major third. From C to F is called a perfect fourth. And so we use P. P equals perfect. So C to F is a perfect fourth, perfect fourth. C to G, perfect fifth. This is a fifth. Okay, from C to A is a major sixth. From C to B is a major seventh. I'm writing the TH a little abbreviations, but that's not necessary later. From C to C, so let's continue with our illustration, major sixth. From C to B is a major seventh. This is perfect, this is major. From C to C is a, another perfect interval. So we have three perfect intervals. It's 
a perfect octave. So this is from C to C is a perfect octave. Perfect. So let's play these intervals and further explore their qualities. C to D. Major. It's called major because the C major scale encompasses D as part of its diatonic quality. C to D, major second. C to E, this is a major third. It sounds happy. Ear training is a part of theory and when you can identify intervals without much time or help, it's a sign that you're really learning and comprehending the inner workings of a scale. Second, a third. Perfect fourth. Perfect fifth. And these sound a little smoother and less full of tension than the other intervals. There are very complicated reasons why they're called perfect, so just trust me for now and we can explain them later. So perfect fourth, perfect fifth, major sixth, major seventh. That doesn't sound very nice. Perfect octave. Second, third, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, fourth, one, two, three, four, five, fifth, one, two, three, four, five, six, sixth, major sixth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, major seventh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, octave, perfect octave. Okay, those are major and perfect. Let's talk about minor intervals. 